And I feel like rocking a baby. Would you like to come into my arms? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probable. These are all high probability it uh, is, equations. And it is whatnot. true that I could that I could give you a target of like I could say, "Hey, honey, we're leaving to go to our friend's house for dinner, April 29th, two thousand and thirty-nine." And every day I could remind you at ten a.m that on that day we'll be going to our friend's house at a certain time. And one hour before that, though there was 20 years of warning, you will look at me like I just sprung it on you and you will be up until the last second harried and rushed to the degree as if I just said, you need to be camera ready for the Academy Awards in 20 seconds even though I had given you 20 years of warnings. Yeah. There is a truth to that. I think it's part of your aesthetic and your nature that you, you present yourself to the very end ready to make yourself ready. Did I don't think I really articulated that very eloquently at the end there. I think I got a little tongue-tied. I, I, I got I think it. I got a little tongue-tied. I think you started to smell uh, <laughs> what I have in my pockets to throw back at you. Oh, because I'm, I wasn't sure if this is just going to be a one-way Jenna attack. I was planning on it. or if um, um, we're going to do like a mutual. It was supposed to just be a one-way attack. No, it was supposed podcast. to just be a straight attack with no flanking maneuvers. Oh, I see. Just a straight attack of my wife. Well, tuck my pockets back in. Then. No, no, no. But now I realize that I, I, the enemy should be able to retaliate. <laughs> Send over some some cannonade. The, the enemy. Send over some cannonade. Mm-hmm. Well, we can talk about my prediction, mm -hmm. and we can talk about your memory. Oh, God. That's not... I, I don't know. Oh, you just... I mean, there's you like, just went, they're in the same basket. They just take different forms. You just went biological and chemical warfare on me. <laughs> like, I was, like, doing arrows and, like, throwing old stones over, over like, through, like, a little catapult, yeah, you're like, like, stones. Yeah, you really, really going low-fi, like... I, very low fi I was like doing medieval stones and yeah. tar. There's a reason warfare has evolved. Y you since went then, because chemical, it's not the most yeah. You went deadly. full anthrax, chemical, biological, Wuhan lab. You went complete. I think that's the female ability. Yeah, it is true. It's just to undercut straight to the. Uh, oh, you were thousands of years. The in vulnerable advance. belly, you, the raw <laughs> baby skin. Yeah. That's what women do. We just go. Oh, yeah, your weapons are yeah. thousands of years more advanced than mine. Yeah. Well, I sharpen it every day. I think you're have it more, on the wall. You're more of an advanced advanced civilization than I am. Yeah, I have like a whole trench coat I open and it's got like lots of like attack uh, um, supplies. Yeah. You're you're like the landing, the craft, and like we're like going, hey, choo choo choo, and you're like you're like mine power lasers. It's just you're bringing a knife to way, a gunfight, not a gunfight, man. Yeah, way advanced civilization. Bringing up my memory loss was pretty hardcore. Here it is. <laughs> I'm not going to go hardcore on memory loss because I don't think it's memory loss. Yeah. I think that somewhere, somehow, this pandemic has eaten our brains alive um, as a culture and it's reconfigured our whole orientation to the game of life and all the things that we, all the s mental systems that we spent our entire lives developing on how to live life and yeah. how to get things done yeah. completely got like put into like a metal cruncher like this yeah. and we have to like mentally restructure our whole thing that's really well said and what i'm running into with you so you put yours on the table uh -huh. and we have a new kitten so if you hear things it's the cat the cat just, Annihilating the cat just fell out the window sill, so but he's okay. 
Um, so you put yours on the table, and I'm just going to put mine on the table. Yeah. It's not memory. I mean, it's memory because, like, we'll say basic things, and then you're like, what? You didn't tell me? And then we very much did. <laughs> and um, But it's this thing. This is the main thing. I don't care about, like, memory because you can write things down, and we're all just, like, overtaxed right now. But it's this comprehension phenomena in our conversations where I'll say a very basic thing. And even the kids are picking up on it because Easton the other day said, what, Dad? It's not like she's speaking a foreign language. It was very basic. Like, to him, it was obvious and basic, but you kind of, like, <laughs> you kind of bit at me for what I said. And I was like, all I said was I moved my stuff to the office. And you were like, I don't understand. What do you mean? Can you, I just, I, and I was like, I said I moved my stuff to the office. Like, what the hell? I, and you do that a lot. Like, I'll say a very simple communication, and you go into this hazerai. I had partitioned my RAM into what I was thinking about. Yeah. And men are very mono, monothotic. Right. Fuck yeah. I fucking, that's... That's a good word. Copyright. Yeah. Mo, we're monothotic. And so I was, I had, I had partitioned my random available memory... Which is Access challenged me. because we're all like brains exploded and, and mushed around. And you were like, like, you were like asking a lot of the hard drive into another category. Even though, from my point of view, it's very simple. Yeah, but women have can do so many things at once, and we are that's already like well established. And so I was like partitioned over here, and you were like, "Hey, can we move the stuff to the garage?" And you I was like, like, "What?" I was like, "I don't even know what you're talking about." Like I couldn't get it at all. Yeah, like at all. I, I was not even getting the language of it. Like, I was yeah. like, what? What? I was like, Portuguese. Okay. And so, then, yeah. We both have... I, I definitely have a problem waiting till the last second on everything. Even no, if I had so much advance. Notice, I don't find pleasure in getting it done ahead of time, and I actually should. And I, yeah. when I theoretically speak about, you've got three days' notice to get this done, in my head, <laughs> it goes in as, you have to do it then. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, I get that. And... Lately, I've like caught it because it was just kind of an automatic operating system. Yeah. And then I was like, wait a minute, if I get it done now, look at all the other things I get to get done between now and then. Yeah. And it's out of my head. But if I don't do it till when it's due, it's in my head that entire time. Yeah. And I was like, hey, that might not be the best way, Jenna. Yeah. I, I just had a really controversial realization. Yeah. It's very controversial. And it's always good to just really get into the really good topics here on, on the podcast. Let's go. But I, I'm pretty sure. If you made women in charge of this pandemic, of this of the of this ridiculous solving it, yeah, uh -huh. it'd be solved. And here's why. Okay. Well, there's a lot of reasons why intelligence, but this was not made for women. It was made for men. Who the pandemic? Get get my hear okay. me out for a second. Right, right, right. The idea of a worldwide pandemic causing people to isolate at home is kind of. Invented by men, carried by men, propagated by men, and perfect for men because we could just sit in our sweatpants and fiddle in the gym for years. Women who are now kept from socializing, yeah. the power of the world run by the women's intelligence, socialization skills, communication, caring emotions, it's making, I've already seen what the last few years have done in terms of keeping you from like being able to socialize and communicate to yeah. your extended world, how fucked up that is and how much you need that interaction. Whereas I can just be in the gym fiddling with shit for hours at a time by myself. Whereas you're like, nah, yeah. if you, if women were made to figure this out, it would happen because women want to open up the world again. Yeah. Like men will just continue with their trades and commerce all through their fucking computers or in right. their gym. and be like, Oh yes, we're doing fantastic with the algorithms. Tappity tap, tap, exe, blah, blah, blah. Let's get on the zoom call and we'll, We'll put a pin in that. But the women need to like actually get out and solve shit. Yeah. And communicate and evolve thought and move change things. Change the world. Change the world. And kept to their Zooms, it doesn't fly. It's not the same. No, I get very claustrophobic. Yeah. So I feel like we should just... Not like literally, but it's a new yeah. kind of claustrophobia. I wasn't claustrophobic, but I feel like life claustrophobic. Yeah, totally. I get it. A little it. bit. So I want to find like a... a, a we, we need a symposium, a symposium. and a committee. A committee of of women, you we yeah. we get rid of all the guys who think they're trying to solve it, but who really probably aren't trying to solve it. They're just well, nothing trying to... got solved. It was the whole Intel research thing came up. We don't know, right? So so yeah. I want to put women in charge. Mostly men. 
Yeah, who who came up with false solutions well, and I pretended really think they were. aren't good at intel. Man, you want to CIA <laughs> fucking staff that shit with the ladies and you will get intel. Yeah. And I have met I'm pretty good with like I've never seen I've met some women in age like, like you that can oh. I've never seen anyone like you. Like you were. Well, there's better than me, but it's ill intended, and I'm powers for good. You're powers for. But good. I've seen some powers for bad. Do uh, they know what you're talking about? Information pullers. Oh, information pullers. Okay. Like lady information. Yeah. Skillfully pulled. Scary business. Yeah. Fear wait. the women who are powers <laughs> for bad on the intel. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, put some put some bitches on it. Put yeah, some bitches we'll on it. it, and shit will fly. Yeah, because men are just like, yeah, we just Amazon delivery and <laughs> Zoom calls, and we'll just carry on being in our fucking houses for the next seven generations. And if women be like, no, we we, we need to get out and go for hikes and well, you can get still together. Do that. Yeah, but you can't like you need like ten women. You can't in your, freely. Yeah, you need to be that. like ten women. Hundred. You need like we need our little village of ladies yeah. that are just like. Hello, and I say 10, but it's really like hundreds. There's are, there are women that are totally out there that are just like, fuck it, we're making this happen anyway. And anyway, I just think men need to just, they, they've fucked up things for long enough. It's time to shit again off the pot. <laughs> it's time to get off the pot. I'm fine with it. As long as I still get my, my periodic s- skimpy doling out of lovemaking from you, the little, the little skimpy doling out that... Because <laughs> I know you've got it on a... Do you want me to talk a, about skimpy doling out from you? On of certain what? Things? Of what? Not what do I skimpy there. dole out? I don't skimpy dole out anything. <laughs> Wait, I hope you're not saying skimpy dole out in that same department. No, definitely not. Okay, good. Then what the hell are you talking about? I'm not bringing that up. But you just brought it up. It's a tab. It's a pin. <laughs> okay. Put a pin in that we'll one. put a pin in it. All right, great. Just saying it goes both ways in certain... Now I'm kind of interested. I'm not hmm. skimpy doling out. Well, okay. There might be blind spots. Okay, there's not been a lot of, like, date nights... And well, we've had a couple good ones this week. Just this week, but that just started. Yeah. Here's here's what we don't do anymore. Yeah. Oh, I had to start it with a really deep breath. I know I got nervous. I, like, I have like a an adrenal reaction. Like I get I'm getting a little sweaty, and I feel like my. But it has to do endocrine system. And I don't know that it's only pandemic related because I think it probably started before the pandemic. Oh. And maybe I'm the reason that this doesn't happen anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I just was too bitchy for too long mm-hmm. and I ruined it for you. I mm-hmm. ruined the playful quality. Mm. But you used to, um, and I'm sure it's my fault. I hope this is something real, not like, podcast girly, because I'm really interested. No, this is real. This is a real one? Yeah. Oh, They're like, never not real. We're always I know, but I thing. mean like not just for the sake of entertainment. Like I'm genuinely interested in what you're about to whip out. I can't wait. You are a master of creating incredible experiences. Mm -hmm. You, for our anniversary, I was out of town. You had someone go into the hotel room and have balloons with fishing wire and roses hanging from the fishing wire all through the whole room so it looked like the roses were floating. Mm -hmm. You got dry ice one day while I was sleeping and put it by the bed so it looked like I woke up in the clouds. You threw the most incredible birthday parties oh, the, for me there was the indian, indian the theme. beautiful indian theme uh birthday there was the birthday party at that club where you did that amazing video oh yeah 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 the um, video, yeah and we used to have so much fun we yeah we used to have so much fun yeah it's that yeah yeah that that's yeah. it's gotten a little skimpy you don't yeah. do shit yeah i'm uh, yeah yeah i used to we used to have a lot of fun i mean i love you and i'm patient about it and i never expected it and nor do i it's just it was fun. It's fun. And I know it's like fun for you. And I want to just encourage you to get back to that, not just for my benefit. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. Mm-hmm. It's like an earthquake. Uh, it's fine. Not just for you, but not just for me, but for you. Yeah, I think I need some water. I'm going to close the door. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, I got you that cool record player. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. you were just getting into using it. Yeah. And then you got annoyed at me. I made you mad for some reason when you were in the middle of having like a moment with your record player. And then you got super pouty and you haven't gotten back to it. No, that's And not then right. we moved. We moved. And then you haven't like set it up for yourself. Yeah. And I keep trying to get you to establish your office more. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just not ready for that. I'm doing the garage. And I'm like, you need to take care of you. And I keep trying to get you there. I yeah. keep trying to like have you 
go there. Yeah. And you won't do it. Oh, I fucking love you so much. Mm, I love you. I totally want to stay married to you for a really long time. That's good. Like, totally. Good. You're like my favorite wife. Aww. You're mostly my favorite husband. Mostly? Mm -hmm. The pandemic kind of forced me to spend the most time with you, though. You can't see any of the other ones. They're locked up in their homes. <laughs> They're just waiting for you. A lot of texts. Doing lots of Zooming. A lot of Zooming. I see them via Zoom. You via Zoom? Fine. Yeah, but that's why well, I'm claustrophobic because yeah, I'm just... not like in there. Yeah, I get, it. I, yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Well, maybe I can. Okay, let's more. jack up your fun. Okay. Let's take care of you. Okay. Don't. But let <laughs> me help you. Help me help you. Help you help, help me. me. Me help, help you. you me. Because happy body is happy Jenna. Ah. Uh. Happy body makes happy family household. Makes less stress body. Mm. When body not enough fun, body stress. Oh. And body stress, stress family. Oh, yeah. See, so happy body You're equals right. happy family. You're right. You're right. Help me, help me. Okay, I'll help you help me. Let me help you. Okay, I'll be helped by you. Good. Um, well. They're going to hold you accountable. They're going to check in on you and say, are you letting Jenna... Set up your office and get all of your fun things. Make they, your office cooler. They should. They should follow up with him. Good. Just beat him up about it. Go to at Bodie Elfman on Instagram. B O D H I H I. Not B O H D I. Not Bo. Not Bodie, but no Bodie. He Bode He Pine. Bodie Pine. No. No, that's my middle name. It's your Bode, social handles are Bodie, at Bodie Elfman. Bodie Elf at Bodie Elfman. Bodie Pine it's like an identity Elfman crisis is my full here. name. Okay, yeah. Bodie, I, I know who I am. Bodie Elfman, Instagram. Jenna Elfman, Instagram. Same thing on Twitter. And, uh, Twitter. And we also have our Facebook. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Kicking and Screaming is also on Facebook. And On Instagram, it's called Kicking Elfman. It's called Kicking Elfman. And we got more to come. Just warming back up. It's been a lot. 